recap. It's freaking exciting. So last week was the biggest week we've had in 2020. And in fact, it was the, the biggest week we've had since August of last year. It was a massive week and tied pretty much our largest week we've ever had in the company. So it was a good week. Good. good job, guys. <laughs> Amazing, especially since we're not even in the spring yet. Uh, so this summer, I expect, I mean, Huge over 150 number. closes each week is, is just a lot of a lot of closes in a week. Yeah, and it's only a week. Cool. Uh, office numbers for February. So it is getting a little close. Uh, Santa Fe has four. Horizon West, which is the new name for the the Las Cruces office. Now they're called Horizon. Horizon West is 13 closes. Good job. Yeah, 12th place. Uh, Denver has 14. And then we're in our top 10 offices. Uh, Orlando has 18. Brownsville has 22. Colorado Springs has 29. Then we have a tie for sixth place between Albuquerque East and Las Cruces East. You both have 30 closes on the month. Nice. We have a full, full week left still, and uh, this is a shorter month. So but we have some guys who are still going to do better than last month, even though this month is shorter, which is exciting. Uh, Destin is in the top five, play, in, the top five in, in the, you know, in Meraki. Destin is in fifth with 35. Albuquerque West is in fourth place right now with 39. Pensacola is in third place with 40. Ooh. Real close there. Albuquerque West, you're going to let them take that from you? Come That's on cool. now. Uh, like, Dude, you guys were beating them the whole time, and now it's like time. last week. <laughs> I know. you got to take it back. you got to take it at the very end. Um, <clears throat> then in second place, man, look how close this is. <laughs> El Paso East has 76, and El Paso West has 78. Oh, they're catching up to you. Last, last time you were beating them by like 20. I know, last week they literally just spanked El Paso West. But El Paso West is still doing better overall in the month. Yeah, two so, closes. Come on, guys. But they can't have another week like last week, or East or West will no longer be the best. And West has never not been the best. They claimed close one time, but they've never not been the best. And Come East, on, West, you got this. East is like... Trumping right there at the heels. They're like, so crazy. close. <laughs> so going over our top 20 in the company, we've had some changes. Still a lot of ties. Um, 50, uh, 20 to 15 is all a tie with 12 closes. we got Arturo Rodriguez in El Paso West, Camille Milke in Albuquerque East, Daisy De La Cruz in Albuquerque West, Emilio Bustamante in Colorado Springs, Marco Smith in Pensacola, and Samuel Soto in El Paso West. So Big tie, people, 20, tie. tied for 15th place. <laughs> and then we got another tie um, from 11th all the way, from 15th to 11th. Yeah, um, that's crazy. <laughs> so pretty much, if you're in the top 20, you're one or two closes away from being in the top yep. 10. 12 and 13 closes <laughs> all the way from Big top tie. 10 down to 20. So Aaron Sandoval um, in Denver, Haziel Yu in Orlando, Max Montoya, Albuquerque East, and Tyler Gillespie in Pensacola. All of you guys tied in 11th place, so good job there. Anthony Kias in 10th place, Las Cruces West. And then we got a tie in 8th place, Isidro Vasquez, um, Albuquerque East, and Matthew Hill in Pensacola. And then in 7th place, we got Noah Weiner in Destin. And then moving into our top five, we have a tie, a third way tie in 4th place. All have 18 closes, Edgar Lopez in Brownsville. Gabriel Castillo in Albuquerque East, Isaac Cisneros in Colorado Springs. So nice. good job to all you guys. And then we had a little bit change up in the top three. We got Joel Barrios in third with El Paso West and with 19 closes. Normando Bustamante in Colorado Springs with 20. Super close right there. Mm -hmm. um, and then in number one, we got Eduardo Duran in El Paso Hold East. Hold this down. Yeah, he that guy had 24 closes yeah. in in one and a half month, one and three quarters a month. Yeah, he's killing it. <clears throat> That's he's doing, doing good. Dude, he's averaging <clears throat> some serious closes. <laughs> so moving into our people with two or more closes, we had a lot of people. Twenty eight people, and uh, there's some there's some, some people with a lot of closes a lot of as well. With a lot, yeah. So starting at the bottom, we got Gabriel Flores Senior, Isidro Vasquez, Joseph Morfesi, Leo Madrano, Lorenzo Mendez. Manuel Garcia, Matt Hill, Noah Weiner, Ophelio Santos, that's a new name, Robert Barreras, we've seen him a few times, Ruben Puerta, Stevens Lemoyne, Tyler Gillespie, Victor Parra, and Yvonne Loya, all with two closes. So good job to all you guys, that's great numbers. Um, with three closes, I think we have 10 or 11 people with three closes, that's amazing. Aaron Elison, Eduardo Duran, Gabriel, yeah. Ed, uh, Gabriel Haro, Gabriel Castillo, Isaac Cisneros, Joel Barrios, Jose Contreras, Marco Smith, Normando Bustamante, Robert Vargas, and Rogelio Orozco. All oh, three. That's a lot of people with three yeah, closes. Dang. I mean, they had 33 closes between those people right there. Dude, that's a lot of closes. <laughs> Killing it. And then uh, with four closes, we got Brandon Norris in third place. And then with five closes, Edgar Lopez. 
And then Anthony Akias was six. Apparently Anthony he Akias. wants to get back on the top. Getting back on the board. Is he he's still he's still in the top twenty right now? Is he, he is in the top twenty. Let's see where he's at. Where is he right now? He's yeah, in I had to get him up somewhere. Yeah, he's in He's tenth. in tenth place, yeah. Oh, that was so a big good good job to him. Good to job. And uh, I think Edgar Lopez is the person that wins a hundred dollars this week. So nice. good, good job, job to him. Cool. So team games update. So team games are going well. This is gonna be the last week of the team games. So keep that up. Keep that until in. round three. Until round three. Well, last week of this round, I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> Very so exciting. let's check the standings. Let's do it. So on the chopping block right now for junior varsity, if you do not get out of this uh, danger zone by the end of this week, uh, I'm afraid you'll be eliminated. That is going to be uh, Alpha Team B, for the Killer Watts, Evolution Empire, and High Voltage. So Alpha Team B and Killer Watts have one close each. High Voltage, Evolution Empire have two closes each. Now. To beat the next guy ha only has three closes, so you just gotta get two closes and beat, bam, yeah, you're if up. You beat them, you're up. So Watsons has three closes, um, and then there's a tie. The Titans, Gung Ho, and Energy Solar all have four closes, and then we have the Exotic Codes with six closes, Alpha Team A with six closes, and the Pensacola Panhandlers with twelve. So you may not beat the Pensacola Panhandlers. Probably not going to beat those guys. They have 12. <laughs> they've been killing it every round. <laughs> every round they've been dominating. But theoretically, they'd be starting at the end of the round. So you never know when all of a sudden the other one of these other teams just like oh, starts popping just, off. Just going crazy. So, um, anyways, you, you, uh, you four at the bottom. You've got to be someone, out, someone else out in order, to, in order to continue here. Let's go. Varsity, I mean, they start off pretty much at 12. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the bottom, though, these are the four in danger right now. So the pitch. Be have nine. Beasts of the West have ten. The Crusaders have eleven, and La Onda has twelve. Um, you guys are currently uh, in the danger zone. Uh, you're not too far away uh, from getting out of it, though, especially with an entire week left. You never know what happens. Some of these. Yeah, I know. Uh, so right now, the Riptide Rebels have eighteen, just barely in the safe zone. Uh, and then there's a tie between Quintet New Era with twenty closes. Uh, twenty-one is the Closers have twenty-one. The White Hand Clan, the shoes, uh, have twenty-two. <laughs> Vinny Vici has 26, and Silent Assassins has 28. Come on, Vinny Vici, number one, first round. I know, they were. And they, they've had a lot of change up between those. It'll be kind of interesting to see which one actually wins. Wins it. I know, it's so close. It's very close there. But anyways, those, those bottom, bottom four, uh, make sure you guys do whatever you need to do to try to kick out uh, Riptide Rebels or Quintet or New Era or something. Um, or I'm afraid this will be the last week. Yeah, let's uh, go. Part of the team game. That is, that is it for this week. Very exciting that we had, uh, like I said, one of the largest weeks we've ever had in Meraki. Um, and it's the last week has just been going up and up and up, so that's very awesome. All right, guys, until next week. 1CW!